Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about serial data communications in vehicles, especially CAN and CAN FT buses. After a brief introduction, our expert Austin Hall will walk you through a demo of the CAN FT bus decoding process using the MDO 3000 oscilloscope. Just a quick reminder that this software module with CAN FT only works with the MDO 3000 and MDO 4000 C scopes, and we'll talk more about that a little later. And just to summarize, Tektronix now has a full CAN and CAN FT software uh, protocol tool, and we support ISO as well as not the non-ISO um, standard. And this allows customers within the automotive industry to decode and trigger on all of these critical signals. This is present on both the MDO 3000 as well as the MDO 4000 C scopes and enables very quick and easy navigation across an entire waveform capture. Okay. At this point, I'll hand it over to Austin for the virtual demo on CANFD. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to take a, a moment to show you the uh, uh, CAN decode uh, available on the MDO 3000 here. Uh, what we have here is a CAN bus uh, signal coming in. It's specifically CAN high. We are, are doing a, a packet decode on that. I can show you here is how to set that up from a default setup. Uh, from a default setup, we have our CAN on channel 2. So I'm going to turn channel 2 on and turn channel 1 off. Uh, then going into my bus setup, I can press bus here. Uh, I can come down to my CAN uh, bus here and then select define inputs. Uh, since we have our signal on channel 2, I'm going to select that and uh, we already know that our signal type is uh, CAN high here. Uh, then moving over into thresholds, I can move my threshold up here as I start to get uh, data uh, triggered on there. I'm going to leave my bit rate on here. I know based on this bus that I'm running at 500 kilobytes per second. Uh, let's turn that off. Um, and what I can do now is crank my scale out and you'll start to see a decode happening there. Uh, now what I can do is I can come into my trigger menu, select bus, and I can trigger on start a frame. What's nice is I can come in using the uh, zoom pan knob and uh, look directly at that start a frame. This is how I'd set up a, a CAN bus decode. Now we have a CAN FD bus. Uh, I want to note a few differences between the previous CAN uh, decode we just looked at. Uh, if I come into my bus menu here, uh, we still have selected CAN. Uh, the only difference is in the configure menu, I've selected CAN FD. Uh, the big difference here is CAN FD allows for a extended data rate, um, so a faster speed for transmit. Um, so we have two data rates to set up. One is the, uh, the first phase which sets up all the parameters for the packet. Uh, the second rate here is the data rate that is actually being transmitted for the packet. Uh, we do have two versions, the ISO and non-ISO version in CANFD based on whichever version your bus is. Um, moving into the actual decode, if we use our pan and zoom knob, we can uh, zoom in on individual portions of the decode, and we can see both the DLC and the uh, BRC uh, bits, which just tell us that we are in KNFD mode and how many um, bytes that we are transferring. We can see 32 here, and if I zoom out a bit and scan through, we have 32 individual bytes that we've sent. Find out more at FICOM's website.